What's up, guys? My brother here for thelines.com, playpicks.com. Going to talk to you about golf betting. Not any particular tournament here, just an overall kind of look at golf betting. Listen, the, NBA, uh, the NFL season is winding down. Maybe you're not into NBA betting. Maybe you're not into NHL betting. Or maybe you just want to try something new and you haven't really looked at golf before or want to give you kind of a breakdown of just how everything goes with all that. Of course, as always, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I really do appreciate the support. Give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like me to answer as far as golf betting goes. But first and foremost here, we're here on DraftKings, and this is going to be the most popular way that you bet a golf tournament. And if you've ever done it before and haven't done it really seriously, it's probably the only way that you bet a golf tournament before, and that is just the outright winner. You see here on the screen right here, down the winner's list, and these are the odds for all the different golfers. So only one winner of a tournament. So the guy has to be the sole winner for you to get paid out. Now, that being said, if you do like to play these outrights, the very best thing you can do, and we talk about shopping books all the time and having multiple accounts, but if you live in one of these states, in Jersey, Pennsylvania, Colorado, all these other states that are opening up, Michigan, welcome to the party, Tennessee, everything like that, um, you have the options to have multiple books. I'm going to show you why. So right here, this just happens to be the American Express that's uh, going to be going on in a couple of days. And when you take a look here, uh, Cantlay is the favorite, 13, and you see Patrick Reed, Tony Finau, Scotty Scheffler, 13, 15, 17, 17. We pop right over here to FanDuel, and then you look right here, and here we are at 14, 17, 19, actually, for the way these are. And you can see, I mean, that varies greatly where Reed is 15 to 1 here at DraftKings. He's 19 to 1 here at FanDuel. You can see whenever we flip over here to BetMGM, 14, 16, 18, over, to, over at PointsBet. We come up to the top 12, 16, and 16. So you can see varies greatly, and it even varies even greater when you kind of get down the board in some of these longer shots, which is where, you know, if you do want to take a shot at a longer shot, you really do need to compare the prices here. Let's just, for example, as we kind of scroll down, let's just pick out one of these guys. Let's, let's pick out Adam Hadwin. So here's Adam Hadwin. He is 70 to 1 at DraftKings. We come over to FanDuel. Let's find Adam Hadwin. Okay, he's 70 to 1 at FanDuel as well. I bet you he's not at these other two books. However, as we come down, Adam Hadwin, there we go. So 66 to 1. So you're getting less here at MGM than you are at DraftKings and FanDuel. So we come down at points bet. If we find Adam Hadwin, we can see um, at 60 to 1. So, you know, if you're betting, a, even if you're not betting a significant amount of money, if you're even if you're betting, you know, 20 bucks, I mean, the difference between 60 to 1 and 70 to 1 on Adam Hadwin is massive. So, again, whenever you want to bet these uh, futures, especially these outrights, be sure and compare the prices amongst the books. Now, the one way that if you really want to try and start to become more a more profitable golf better is to start betting some of these alternative markets where... You know, you're betting a top five, a top 10, or even a top 20 finish for one of the golfers. And listen, it's not as sexy. You're not getting, you know, the 20, 30, 40, 50, or 70, as we just pointed out a second ago, to one on those. But as I just mentioned, only one golfer wins a golf tournament. So it is very hard to pick one golfer out of a field of over 100 to, to win a golf tournament. But... You know, if you have strong conviction in a guy, picking him to finish top 20, again, not near as sexy, but certainly the way that you can grind and, and make some money betting golf. You know, if you really think a guy is going to do really, really well, you can bet the top 10s and even the top 5s. But, you know, you get into these top 20 markets, and if you really love a guy, you know, Kevin Na coming off of, uh, you know, just happens to be that he he won the week prior uh, to the tournament that of this American Express that I'm talking about right now. If you really like the way that he's playing, you think his heater, I mean, listen, you're still getting two to one on him just having to finish in the top 20. And so you kind of look at those odds and they're available, you know, at, at, at all of these other, at all these other properties as well. You can see finishing position over here at FanDuel, you, they'll, they just break it down a little bit differently, but, uh, you know, five, top five, top 10, top 20, just click on those and you can see, you know, Ricky Fowler, you're getting plus 175. All he has to do is finish in the top 20 of the tournament. So another way you go about golf betting is to do those, the fives, the tens, the twenties. And again, if you, you have options here, even to go further deeper down than that with 30 and 40. So um, something I highly, highly recommend 
that you start adding to your gar- golf uh, betting repertoire is to make sure that you're doing that as well. Now, as we go back over here, another way that you can bet these uh, golf tournaments is matchups. And so basically what you do here is you go in and it is golfer A versus golfer B. It's very simple. It's head to head. And it's a great way that if you, like I was saying, if you have either conviction in a golfer for a particular week, or if you really hate a golfer for a particular week, if you really dislike a golfer for a particular week, you can go in and find the matchups and bet against him for that week. Or find the guy that you like and go in and bet all, you know, bet all the matchups for him to win the matchups. And all it is is straight up finishing position and um and who whoever uh whoever finishes higher in the final standings is uh is your winner. And so that's all you have to do. So right here, you know, for example, this is just Sam Burns versus Lanto Griffin. Sam Burns finishes in tenth, Lanto Griffin finishes in eighth. You get paid out if you had Lanto Griffin. That's all there is to it. Head to heads two guys and that's all there is to it now you can do round one matchups if you want to and things like that you know those are other things that you that you can go into but this is a full tournament I tend to like that a little bit better if a guy just happens to have one bad round it gives him a chance to come back and and you're not really burned after one round but again you can play one first round matchups if you want to and they'll they'll put up matchups after every uh after every round as well so if you want to go in and do that you can certainly uh do that then there's also the group betting um, that you're allowed to do, and basically it'll just put together a bunch of uh, five different golfers, and you are betting who's going to be the better finisher out of those five. So it's kind of the same format as a head-to-head, where it's just you know finishing finishing position, but instead of against one other golfer, it's against four other golfers, and so they'll they'll put in guys that they think are kind of similarly. You'll find them, you know, they're similarly uh, aligned in the odds, and then these odds will play out accordingly as well, and then you're just picking the winner of these particular golfers in each group. And again, another way that you can go about betting where you don't have to worry about the guy winning the tournament. Hell, you don't have to worry about the guy finishing in the top 20 if, you know, you you, you like to think he's going to finish in the top 20 to win one of these things. But what I'm saying is it doesn't matter if, if everybody else in this group happens to play poorly and your guy just happens to creep into 39th place. Uh, well, you still get paid. So it doesn't really matter. Um, but that's another way to go about betting as well. You're going to find... These um, make miss is another way, another great way to go about betting. The, now, this is a little bit for bigger bankrolls, but, um, you know, you take a look here and this is strictly to make the cut. And that's it. Guy makes the cut. He can finish in dead last after he makes the cut. Doesn't matter. You get paid. Now, when I say it's for bigger bankrolls, because you can see the yes on the better golfers is always you're laying money, you know, and so. It's going to take a little bit more of a bankroll here, but uh, you know, if you're getting into golf and you just, you know, you do have a bigger bankroll, something to look at as well. You know, again, now this has nothing to do with finishing position whatsoever. This is making the cut after the first two rounds. So, like I said, Zach Johnson could could make the cut and then play at 12 over in the rounds three and four. It doesn't matter. You're getting paid because he just made the cut. So you're looking for two good rounds out of your guy, essentially, with that. So make miss the cut, another great way that you can bet golf. Tournament props. So listen, these things will vary by uh, by tournament, how these go. Just check in. You know, I don't typically go into these a ton, but, you know, one of the things you can do is um, is take a look at, you know, some of these if you maybe you have a, a rooting alliance for some of these. But look, you know, best former Arizona State player, best former Georgia Bulldog, best Oklahoma State player, you can see, and then, you know, again, it's going to be the highest finisher out of the group of those people. Some of these nationality props as well. It'll be, you know, top American. You can take a look at that, but you can flip through the other. It'll be top European, top Scottish player, Asian player, Canadian player, continental Europe, European player, Britain and Ireland, you know, Australasia. So again, they'll have all these broken down for you as well. So you can go in and you can say like, you know what? Uh, there's not a lot of Canadians in this tournament. And you can see that where we were looking, you know, a little bit earlier, you know, Adam Hadwin is not favored to win this tournament. I mean, we were looking at him and he was 70 to one, but he only has to be the top Canadian. And you can see it's not a strong Canadian field that happens to be in this tournament. You know, it'll change tournament to tournament. But again, just something that you can look at to kind of diversify your portfolio and again, win some bets a little bit easier than just betting the outrights. Because I think too many people get caught and just trying to bet, you know, these 30, 40, 50 to 1 guys, you look up after 10 tournaments, you haven't hit one of these, and you're, and you're massively in the hole of golf betting. It doesn't have to be that way. 
if you take advantage of these other markets that are available out there. So, you know, again, there is the outrights, but seriously start looking at the top fives, the top tens, the top twenties, and hell, even after the, the top thirties and top forties that are available for you to bet as well. So those are also um, some ways to go at it. If there is a golfer that you think, you know, gets super hot and, you know, there are some golfers that tend to, to play well early and fade in tournaments, you can bet these leader after round ones. Uh, those are, those are also available, but uh, again, those are pretty, pretty volatile as well. So we're trying to be bankroll builders here. We're trying to figure out how we can actually make money getting into the head to head market. Another way of doing that outside of the top 20 bets and the top 10 bets, getting into the head to head markets and even the group markets, another way to really build your bankrolls. And then to, you know, find some of these other props that maybe you are, maybe you're a little bit more well-versed on, or if you just want to research that particular prop, just a little bit more. I mean, it doesn't take you all that time, all that much time to research you know, the, the top former Arizona State player, there's only six golfers in the tournament from Arizona State. So you could do your homework on those six guys, see if there's any value here. And you're only betting, you know, amongst six guys as opposed to the the full field that we're talking about with, with all these outrights bets. So um, something that you can definitely look at, of course, we talked about the nationality props as well. So these are all just great ways to go in and try and bet golf, and, and you know it is a it's an awesome sweat if you haven't ever if you've never bet golf before. Four days for the price of one, I always say, because you're 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 buying in for the opening round on Thursday, and hopefully your bet is lasting you all the way until Sunday, and you're in the mix with with everything. And so, as far as the handicapping stuff goes for golf, this is um, this is where you really do have to put in some work, right? You need to go in, you need to learn about the course. What are the fairways like? You know, what is the rough like? Does it benefit, you know, bombers? Does it benefit guys that can hit the fairway? What is it? Um, what? How many par fives are there? Are we talking about guys that need to be longer um, to, to have a shot at all? Or is this kind of one of those courses where, yeah, they're par fives, but the par fives aren't really all that long. And so anybody can score on these things. And you know, recent form. I'm a, a big proponent of recent form. I like to look at, you know, what's the guy done in the last 24 rounds? You know, how is, how is his game going? Because golf, if you're a golf player, you know this as well. Golf is a streaky thing. And so uh, sometimes you can find it, fix a little tweak in your swing, and then uh, things are going your way. And then sometimes you can lose it. Some, some, some kind of bad habit that you happen to get into, and it takes you a while to get back into it. So, um, you know, as you start to golf handicap, those are the things like picking out the course, which guy fits the course the best. What are the skills that we're looking for whenever we are looking for? Is it, you know, some of the advanced statistics and strokes gained, whatever, off the tee, tee to green, approach. Those are all different things that you can find online. And those are the, those are the different things that you'll have to go in and try and figure out, you know, okay, what's important to me for this game, for this tournament, for this course, for this particular course, for this particular tournament. I want guys that are really good at their approach. Go in, find out who's doing well, strokes gained approach. If it's guys that need to be super long, find out who is, you know, who's bombing it off the tee. If it needs to be guys that are super accurate, you can find fairways gained and, and things like that. So you can go in and make sure that you're getting a guy that's accurate. So um, all these different advanced statistics uh, are available out there as well. And that's how you can go into actually picking the different golfers that you're into as well for, for these tournaments. So, um, guys, we're going to have written breakdowns over at the lines, over at Play Picks. We'll have, uh, we'll have podcasts, we'll have videos and stuff like that for all the big tournaments as well. But just more of a primer here on the different ways that you can bet, how, what we're looking for whenever we're starting our golf research for everything. And then, of course, like I said, if you have any further comments, questions, go ahead and leave them in the thing down there. Go ahead and uh, give us a subscribe on the channel. Give us a thumbs up on the vid. And we'll see you guys for all of the big golf tournaments moving forward.